So first of all, you're looking for danger to yourself as you approach the casualty. Are there any um, hazards around them that you missed when, you, when they first began the seizure? Are they still convulsing a little bit so they may go into another violent seizure? Just be aware of that. Look for any response, so tap them on the shoulder, speak into both ears, ask them to squeeze your hand, you're asking for some sort of response for them. If they do give you one, there is some consciousness there. Once you've determined whether they're unconscious or not, you might want to seek some assistance from one of your bystanders or anyone nearby, just because you may need emergency assistance, so do ask someone to come and stand with you. When you're laying down on the floor, your airway can become impaired. Um, when it's not a natural position when you're lying down for the airway to remain open. So you need to make sure that they're still breathing and to do this you do something called the head tilt chin lift. Just lift up the neck, the chin with two fingers and support the forehead with one hand and then you've opened up the airway. Um, you then want to check for breathing so you want to lean down, rest your cheek over their mouth and nose, you're looking to look at their chest for any raising as they breathe. Also listen for any breathing coming out of their mouth and you're going to do this for about 10 seconds. You're going to look for like these two good breaths. Once you've determined whether they're breathing or not, you can then send your bystander to call for an ambulance. Tell them whether they are breathing or not and to specify that to the emergency caller. And also to come back and let you know that they've called the ambulance if they've had to leave the area. If they've got a mobile phone, they can just do it with you. But if they've had to leave, it's very important that they come back. If they are breathing, then you put them into the recovery position, which we'll do a demonstration of. Um, if they are not breathing, you need to do start doing a CPR, which we're not going to cover in this video, but more information can be found at the St. John Ambulance website. Send for ambulance. 